Hello, my name is Mariana Castellanos. I come from Guatemala. And like any other place, um, Christmas in Guatemala is very colorful and it's full of devotion and happiness. Um, Guatemalans prepare a lot for Christmas. Right before the 25th, many, many events take place. Uh, I will mention just a few of them. For example, the Quema del Diablo, which means literally to burn the devil, is um, it, families gather and friends in the streets to burn documents or old things that they don't want anymore. Um, but it's also a preparation of their soul and, and to be ready to receive Jesus Christ in their heart. And this also takes place uh, right before the procession of the Immaculate Conception. Another event is the, the Posadas. Posadas take place nine days before, during nine days before Christmas. And what happens here is that uh, communities in neighborhoods get together, they divide into groups. One group um, does a little procession taking um, Joseph and Mary through the streets looking for lodging. Posada means actually lodging, so it's, it represents the stage when Mary and Joseph are, are looking for a place to stay for Jesus to be born. So when they reach the place, they go with music, looking for posada. And when they reach the home that has been selected, there is a, a little party. They have a, a feast, some food. Before, before the food, they pray. They usually pray the rosary. They sing some carols. And then, well, the whole neighborhood comes together. And sometimes there is even a piñata for the little kids. Well, then um, Christmas, Christmas Eve, the 24th is the most important day. It's not really so much the 25th. Celebrations are the day before. And in the afternoon, people get together with friends. They, they, um, they pray, they go to mass. And uh, in the evening, the, the dinner takes place at 12, at midnight. And uh, so, you know, everybody stays up, stays up late. Sometimes they burn firecrackers. It's a big party and everybody's happy to receive Jesus Christ in their lives. Here we have an example of a manger. We also put up trees and lights like every, everywhere else, but we focus mostly on the manger. And this is a typical one with a Guatemalan fabric. And it is usually accompanied by hills and more animals and little rivers. It's, it's uh, very crafty. So uh, thank you very much and Feliz Navidad.